What's going on, folks? Welcome back to Sand City Sports. Got a little bit of sunshine today, so we're going to keep it moving and grooving. Tom Brady gave his first press conference with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Went well. Tom, professional, classy, as always. But listen, point of fact is this. Folks are speaking on the Patriots' way and whether or not it's going to work in Tampa Bay. The Patriots' way does not travel. We know this. How many assistants? McDaniels. Mangini, Cornell, uh, uh, Weiss, on and on and on. O'Brien struggling in Houston as far as I'm concerned. Tom Brady will need to provide distinctive leadership for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And this is what's so exciting and fascinating. Who is Tom Brady, okay? We only know him up under the leadership of Bill Belichick. We're gonna get a chance to see if he can be a true general or if the man has always been a better lieutenant. Sticking with the NFL, I like what I've seen uh, granted, it's only clips uh, from Mr. Tui Tugavailoa uh, in terms of the NFL draft coming up. I think this is a man that slept on, frankly, and people are going to need to remember. We're talking about Joe Burrow. We need to remember Tui. He's there, and uh, I mean, he looks healthy. So we're going to look at that going forward. Uh, big picture, I got to say, folks, I feel as though we're getting stronger leadership from our professional sports and our people in sports at times than our political leaders. What I mean by that is, you know, there, there's some speculation and some conjecture about the quarantine being lifted and we're not getting clear guidance there. Listen, it's hard, it's, uh, painful is the wrong word. We'd like to have professional sports, but with the NBA and every professional league uh, stepping up and in the Olympics following them, we're getting clear guidance in terms of what we need to do versus the politicians going back and forth. India, country of 1.4 billion people, 24, uh, 21 day lockdown, all right? America, only 350 million people. Uh, I think we're on the right course. In conclusion, I missed this man's birthday. I want to shout out a happy belated birthday to your boy Gordon Hayward, who's here leading the charge and being town, bringing the Celtics back into prominence and contention. So I missed that yesterday. Happy birthday, Gordon Hayward. We'll see you next time, folks.